Well, it's Wednesday, May the 5th, and instead of uh, Capitol Reef, we're working on the van again. <laughs> yep. I've uh, sprung a leak. She's leaking. It looks like it's a hose clamp that just wasn't tightened down correctly, but I'm not sure because it's pouring so much out that I can't tell. So as soon as it's done doing its thing, then I'm gonna diagnose a little further and uh, see if we can't get this fixed and get on the road. We were supposed to be at a, at a national park today. But, uh, I got stuff on the lens. So this is part of van life. It's not all just like yesterday's episode where we're riding mountain bikes and seeing national parks and all that. Sometimes you gotta get your hands dirty on the side of the road in a loves parking lot. So there is most definitely a split in it. Ow, that hurt. I just jumped my face on a bumper. Ow. So there's most definitely a split in it, but I think I can slide the hose further up on and put the hose clamp on the other side of the split and solve the issue. But I do still need another hose clamp soon, or not a hose clamp, another hose because if it's worn like that, the odds of it weighing another hole in it somewhere else is probably just as high. So let's try and see if this right here will work. Fixed it. It's not easy this time, normally not. All right, so that was a uh... It was kind of a plan ruiner for us. We're not going to go to those national parks now. Now we're going to just kind of beeline on towards Zion. So I'll get, throw this video, excuse me. I'll throw this video in with the next video because there's no other point in filming this. But. Huh? I closed. <laughs> this is his only fans page. <laughs> I just got her so I washed the camera off in the shower whenever I took a shower she was like why did you take a camera with you I told her it was from my only fans alright oh well you ready well, let's hit the road oh. alright so it is now Thursday the 6th the 6th the next day and uh, we're in Beaver, Utah, at a truck stop. And I'm pulling one wheel out for a second to stretch my legs on the way to you. Oh, that hurricane. Hurricane, Utah. Yeah.
truck stop on the side of the road. Not a bad view. I dig it. We gotta go to Hurricane. No way! Look at what I just found on the side of the road. So, literally on the side of the road. Do you see this? I think it's skatable. It's pretty small for a full pipe, but I think it's skatable. Let's try it. Absolutely doable. Full pops are so ridiculously scary, but so much fun. Transition's really hard to figure out because there's no flat. But God, to find something like this just on the side of the road, dude, I would have been in heaven as a kid. Full pops are so much fun, but such a workout. And the echo is wicked. All right, let's self the ticket. If I can. for a spot just on the side of the road. So cool. All right, let's go check out Skate George is what it's called. It's the skate park, just, uh, it's actually down the road from Hurricane. So we made it to Hurricane. Uh, I slept in the van all day because it was extremely hot and I just didn't want to do anything, so. Yeah, now that we're at a skate park, let's go, uh, let's go get a skate session. First glance, it looks really good. Like, really good. Oh, wow. Yeah, this looks fun. Dude, that looks tight, though. The transition on this end looks really tight. I'm digging it. First glance, it looks good. So maybe this mini will be better than the Silverthorn mini that I rode last because I do see more coping showing. So I don't know. Let's drop in and see. So much better than the last bowl shape. Much better, much better. I'll 
take that. I'll take that. So I've not done a spine in, well, since the last time you guys saw one on the channel. I don't even remember when that was, so let's try that today. janky but whatever So the park got crowded really fast. Um, that being said, I'm gonna call it. I'll come back over here whenever it's an early morning session because midday would be absolutely miserable here. It was 90, I think 95, 96 degrees today during the middle of the day. It was just, it was awful. So that being said, uh, I'll come back and try it again one day well, later in the week after Van Fest because tomorrow we have to set up for that so that being said see you later it is now 3 a.m and it was finally cool enough speaking of cool enough i picked up another air conditioner because it was just too freaking hot here i was dying earlier um but it finally cooled off enough for me to replace this bad boy so let's see what is that I saw some splits in it. I guess they're all right there. Yeah, they are right there. Right there near my thumb, there's some splits. And that was the issue, so. It has been replaced. It's down there on the very bottom. It's very hard to see because it's up under that biggest hose there. But it's replaced. The radiator is filled back up with water and there is no leaks up under here. So, I mean, that water that's dripped over there is where I actually was filling it back up. So. No leaks. It works again. Probably 3 a.m., but it's better than doing it out here in the heat. In a Walmart parking lot. So this is what van life is really like. All right, I'm going to load the rest of this tools up, clean up, take a shower, and... Uh, Go to bed so that I can get up for Van Festival.